What's up guys, Cash here from GiveWave Studios and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to turn these simple four parts into a cool uh, Jack Skeleton from Nightmare Before Christmas bow tie that you can do with just some simple materials and make for a quick little uh, cosplay or Halloween accessory. All right, let's get into it. So first thing we're gonna do is start working on our smaller pieces. So if you have some tape and then Put the sticky side up, grab a piece, stick it down to the table with the opposite side. So what we're doing now basically is making a little strip that's gonna hold these pieces while we heat them up, all right? And make sure that these pieces are opposite each other, right? So they're facing like this. That way, when they go onto the head, they go in that direction. So we're gonna heat these from the surface here, and we're gonna grab the head, stick it to our paper, that way it doesn't move while we heat it up. So grab your heat gun, heat this up for about 30 seconds, and then I'll okay. catch All right, with our parts nice and heated, we're gonna start with uh, your ears, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of a curve inside of them. So pretty much push your thumbs up against each other, right down the middle of it, and kind of spread the ear out. So you're pulling to the sides as you're pushing your thumbs down the center. And what that's gonna do is give this a nice little concave curve uh, to start shaping and forming the ears of the bat that make up the head of his bow tie, all right? And as you can see, I already have a really nice cool curve on this and this is still flat. So this is basically what you want on both ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this one. Now that that's done, we have the curve on both of our ears looking really good. Now we're gonna grab the head. Now, you'll notice that the head is pretty flat and one dimensional, right? So there's no curve to it whatsoever. So what we're gonna do is sand it down at its edges to kind of bring back a curve and give it a more natural look. Now you can accomplish this different ways. You can grab a Dremel tool and start drumming out the edges. Uh, you can even make yourself a little sanding stick. I'll have a link on uh, Evil Ted's video on how he makes these. They're pretty simple uh, to sand down the edges. I'm gonna use some of the tools that I have in the shop for time's sake, but the process is the same. So I'll take you guys with me and fast forward. All right, we got our part sanded. It's nice and smooth on all edges, as opposed to just the straight square thing that it was before, all right? So now what we're going to do is basically start assembling our piece, and we're gonna do a final round of heating, and then we can go on to paint. At this point, one thing I forgot to mention, whenever a piece is laser cut, it doesn't really glue all that well, so what you wanna do is grab some sandpaper and just kind of rough up the uh, surface that's going to get glued just until you feel like it's nice and fuzzy because if you feel it on the laser cut itself it'll feel like pretty rough and pretty sealed up so you want to open the foam back up and give the glue somewhere to cut just kind of sink in a little bit all right so that's what I was doing here so let's keep going so here I'm gonna take my time a little bit and show you guys how it is that I do this part so I'm gonna grab some of my contact cement where the wings meet the head. So right along that line, over, right up to the other side. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. Piece is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my ears and put up the brightness a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna start kind of in the corner here and work my way over to the center of the head. So I'm kind of like curving it onto the head so that holds onto it. So that's that would be one ear. Okay. Put that down. And again, the positioning of this is completely up to you. This is just how I would put mine together. All right, so again, I'm just gonna try and find my center. You can start from one end or the other, doesn't matter and then just kind of curve this and have it meet on the other side. All right. And if you waited for your glue to dry long enough, it should be pretty perfect. 
All right, now that we have this, we're gonna go ahead and take it to the paint booth. Now we're gonna grab some Plasti Dip. We're gonna coat this. Now that our piece has been nice and Plasti Dip, we're gonna go ahead and grab some white flight paint and we're going to paint just kind of these general areas, making sure that the paint goes into these grooves and goes into the socket of the eyes here. And then we'll go ahead and paint the surface black again, but then all of the white paint would have seeped into the detail areas and then we'd be done, all right? So, all right. so as you guys can see, I got the white all in the crevices. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. If you want it to be, you can definitely spend your time to make it so. But we're gonna grab one of these foam brushes and we're just gonna lightly brush the black onto the surface, making sure to avoid going into the crevices where the white already is. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through that process and catch you guys towards the end. So this is my first coat. As you guys can tell, it still looks a little streaky. So I'm gonna have to do this process at least two or three more times to get a consistent black finish on the outside and have the, the white pieces remain on the inside, all right? And you can always go back into the eyes if you want them a little brighter with your paintbrush and uh, make those pop a little bit more, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the rest. All right, guys, uh, we're done painting. Everything looks nice and shiny. We're gonna go ahead and figure out how we're going to make this into a bow tie. Now, I have some elastic waistband. Um, this is about, I believe it's a little bit, yeah, it's like three quarters of an inch uh, thick. You could go with something a little slimmer. This is just what I had laying around. <clears throat> uh, you're gonna measure around your neck with a little bit of an overlap, as you can see, so that uh, the Velcro here uh, makes contact that way you can tie it all the way around now it doesn't have to be velcro again this is completely up to you how you want to attach this there's a myriad of other things that you can do but i'm just covering the basics and you guys can take care of the creativity after that so uh, luckily enough i already measured this so i know that this is basically my measurement for my neck so i'm gonna use this one that i have here already for reference you guys can go ahead and tie it around your necks to see what works. I'm gonna cut that out. Now grab the scrap piece of foam that came with your kit. Right. And then you attach this here, and then you run your elastic waistband through this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on my edges here. Bottom, bottom, spread that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the side of my bat. Right here, and right about here. And then while I wait for this to dry, I can go ahead and apply my Velcro. I'll do one side, one side first. And then so you also, if you have a a lighter with you, it's a good idea to just kind of burn the edges so that the uh, String doesn't fray. So it's not. Right hand. Apply this now. Like so. Okay. Good. This should be dry now. Okay, Put this. But you're gonna have to get your own elastic waistband because everyone's neck size is different. Alrighty. And there you have it. We've made our bow. So uh, if you guys made it this far, uh, I hope this was helpful. And um, congratulations, you've just made yourself a Jack Skeleton bow tie. Uh, my name is Cass from Giveaway Studios, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.